Welcome to PixEdit.com Advanced Tutorial for Mass Conversion with Batch Wizard. Typical jobs like data extraction from scanned forms, file format conversions, or macro jobs on entire archives are easy to set up and execute using Batch Wizard. With just a few mouse clicks, you can process a handful or millions of files in large folder structures. To start the Batch Wizard, click this button. The first step in Batch Wizard displays some general information, so let's just skip to Step 2 by clicking Next. In Step 2 we will define what type of job, in general, we want to perform. This simplifies the following steps in Batch Wizard. For example, a simple file format conversion job only requires we specify the root source folder, file format, and destination for converted files. In fact, this is exactly what we will do in this training video. We will convert a collection of TIFF files to PDF A. However, for the sake of training, let's first discuss the other options in Batch Wizard. If we wish to create and publish web pages directly to HTML format from our files, we would check this option. If we needed to extract data from fixed fields in a batch of scanned forms such as customer surveys or user polls, we would check this option. The three choices we have looked at so far are not changing the content of document pages since they just convert the files to another format. However, if you check Perform Document Cleanup and Processing, Batch Wizard will later present an additional step offering several useful options related to document content processing, as well as an option to run previously recorded macros on batches of documents. The next step in Batch Wizard is common for all types of processing, so click Next for a closer look. Here we need to specify where and how Batch Wizard will fetch documents to be processed, in this case documents to be converted to PDF A. To process an entire folder structure, check this option. Choose Root Folder in the left panel and then one or more folders or files to be processed on the right hand side. All files are selected in this case, they happen to be old TIFFs by Control A. The number of selected files is indicated here. In order to select and process an entire folder structure, check the Include Subfolders option. It is also possible to let Batch Wizard monitor and process files as they arrive in a folder. If you wish to do this, activate this option. Only one folder can be monitored this way when using Batch Wizard. If you need continuous, multiple folder monitoring, you will be much better off using the Dock Server window. The reason is explained at the end of this video. In Batch Wizard Step 2, we chose File Format Conversion. If we had chosen Export to Web in Step 2, Batch Wizard will, in the next step, show a configuration dialog for web export as shown in an earlier video. Had we chosen Forms Processing, the next step will display the Forms Processing dialog. But let's go back to the option we selected in Step 2, Pure Conversion to PDF A without any type of image processing. Click Next. This is the Batch Wizard saving step. File Format and Compression Type are selected in the drop-down list. In our case, we choose to convert our selected TIFF files to PDF, raster, and JPEG compression. For more information regarding the various PDF compression types, look at the PDF A conversion video. In the left panel, we choose the destination folder. If we choose to save the converted documents back to the same folder from where they came from, use of this selection will be disabled. In this case, however, we select this destination folder for our converted PDF A documents. To prevent overwriting existing documents with the same name, check this option to add an incrementing number to the destination file name. If the source and destination file format are both using JPEG compression, Batch Wizard will reuse the compressed data in the destination file to optimize conversion speed. To increase the compression ratio, check this option and drag the slider to a lower value. A value of 85 or higher is defined as photo quality, but you can often get away with a compression value of 50 to 60 without significant reduction in quality on Office documents. 
Click Next to display a summary of our defined jobs such as Source and Destination folder and Conversion Format. By default, the job will start as soon as you press Finish, but you can uncheck this option and run the job later from Tools, Batch, Execute. This is useful if you want to define more jobs and run them all at a later time. For this tutorial, we will start the job right away. But before we start the conversion job, let's mention it's possible to configure how PixEdit should appear during batch processing by using the Options button. Let's start our batch conversion job. As you see, it is quick and easy to set up a one-time job like this using Batch Wizard. However, for continuous processing of repeated jobs, using the Doc Server window is a better option. The Doc Server window in PixEdit simultaneously and continuously monitors and processes as many folders as you want using different profiles for each folder. In addition, the Doc Server window does this in the background, so you can continue to edit, scan, and work with individual documents in PixEdit. Doc Server also processes Office files more efficient than Batch Wizard. You can learn more about Doc Server window in several other videos here at pixeditcom.